Previously on UO's Lab. <laughs> yeah, 24 outlets is not enough. not enough. Need to make the meme 100 outlet version? Hang on, you know what? You're actually kind of spitting. Hang on. Any electricians in chat, can you tell me if this is up to code or not? Something smells like it's fing burning. For today's stream, we are going to be building the biggest fire hazard of a power strip imaginable. I have bought 100, well, it's 50, but each one has two. Uh, we're going to have 100 outlets on this thing, and we're going to wire them all together in a giant gang and uh, see what happens. So I want to have some adjustable modes. So one is just running it all off one power strip. But uh, that's kind of boring because, yeah, we can run it all off one power strip. But uh, it's only going to be on one 20 amp circuit. What would be interesting is if we can either make it, one, plug into a 240 volt dryer outlet, which I have a plug for. It's sitting over there. Uh, or we have like a Cat-O nine tails of plugs for it to plug into a bunch of different circuits of the house. That way we can increase the current carrying capacity of the power strip. <laughs> Cat-O nine tails, please. Well, I wanted to ask, and you know, maybe there's some electricians out there. What happens if you wire multiple breakers on the same phase into each other. Praying won't help you now anymore. Do you have the Timu fire extinguisher? Yeah, I got several of these. You know, I don't think it's gonna catch on fire. I think we just gotta be careful to not like blow it up, you know? All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, okay, eight, 10. We just need 10 of these to get a hundred. So we'll probably run it 10 long and then five down. Gonna make sure to keep this off the circuit that my PC is on. It shouldn't cut out. The master breaker is rated for 200 amps, I believe. It's rated for 200 amps. It's the sum of all the breakers is more than the main, which is a little bit uh, confusing. I do I've never blown the main. Now I've blown individual breakers, but never the main breaker. We're gonna have to use these guys to mount it. I think we could do alternating, honestly. So like this and then on the other side. Yeah, let's see if I can screw this into wood. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. Line it up and stop flaggling around. Yeah, this looks like a... That's not how we're gonna do it. This should do it, honestly. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done. All right, that's what, that's how we're gonna be doing it. Dude, I think this is it. This is how these are gonna be mounted. What's happening? We're creating horrid violations of the electrical code. But that's kind of, that's pretty par for the course, I feel like. You know, I'm realizing now I should really be doing this with the other board here because this is going to, uh, it's going to be a lot harder, I feel like, to drill all these holes and then come through and screw all of them in. Oh yeah, keep drilling, baby. Here, just screw this in. I'm gonna be using push-ins, much to the displeasure of electricians in chat. If I was an electrician, I think I'd lose my license for doing this. <laughs> I'm gonna start wiring these just so that we have them set here. So this is 30, we're wanting to do 100, uh, but we've, we've got a pretty easy path to get at least 90 here, because this is 30, and then I'll have one one on the bottom and one on the top, basically. What are you plugging into them? Literally everything that I can find. 
I'm gonna plug everything that I can find in the basement into them. I think we can get like uh, maybe a few heaters and like uh, some hair dryers, microwave. We gotta push the limits. We gotta push the limits of what's possible. <laughs> I f***ing hate montages. We need to wire it up still, but we got a hundred, a hundred outlets. And now we need to wire it all up. Are we going to be using nice colored wires so that we can keep track of which ones, which ones, uh, Neutral and which one's hot? Nope! We're winging this shit. Now you just need a hundred Glade plugins. We gotta bring this back in a future stream. <laughs> we gotta strip... <laughs> oh my gosh. We gotta do this to so many f***ing wires. Hey guys! Real fast. Uh... Am I... I am wiring these right, right? Like, this is not connecting them to the same side. Dog? Okay, it does. Okay, okay. It is being wired, right? Just make it sure! Alright, look out. Whoa. Look how nice and neat all the wiring is, man. We just gotta do this last row and then we're good. Just hurry up. Everyone is here to watch you zap yourself. I only count 96 outlets. Count again, motherfucker. You missed the last two. Sorry, the last four. <laughs> All right. We're gonna get this guy over here because why not? Yeah, I'll go ahead and run this through five linked together extension cords just to really up the, uh, the danger level. And yeah, we're gonna be doing some some spicy experiments here. Now the reason why I'm wearing a welding glove to begin with anyway is just due to the fact that this is all unshielded. Here, let's plug this in and see, uh... Okay, it's hot right now. I don't think it blew the breaker. We'll find out here in a second because we'll plug some stuff into it. Oh, here. We can plug in our, uh... Alright, yeah. First, let's plug in the table. This is uh, an automatic desk, so it moves up and down. Let's see, an angle grinder. That one's got to go on. A uh, jigsaw. Yeah, that one's going to plug here. You know, you want to be able to charge your different devices, so let's get some of those. It looks so empty. You need more... We need more plugs. Here, let's plug some of our, our main uh, working lines here. These plug to like our blower. Yeah, yeah, hang on a second. Let's see what we got here. Hair dryer, that one's good. Charge the Twitch Chat Surface Pro while it's running? That's not a bad idea. Oh, you know what else we can plug in? <laughs> Hang on, you know, when you when you don't have quite enough plugs, why don't we plug in our our phone charger fire hazard we got on Timu? That's another good one. That's another good one to plug in. <laughs> Now we have more room. That's true. We can we can chain even more here. Speaking of, someone sent me this amazing uh, motion-activated power strip. We can plug this guy in. It doesn't have anything plugged into it, but the motion detection will work. So that's kind of cool. So that'll be running. Hang on, get the vacuum pump in here. Vacuum pump, we can definitely plug him into something. Yeah, how will we get this pump to? Another air pump. Where does it work? Oh shit, it's dropping everything. 
Plug in the rice cookers. You're so right. The rice cookers are great. You're so right. Rice cookers are a great one. And we have more. We have at least another one. Oh wait, I got both other ones, but I only have the pots to like one here. Whoops. This thing's gonna come in a lot of handy for future projects. Cause next time I need to plug a lot of shit in, I can just pull this thing out. The breaker's gonna trip so fast. You know what? Let's plug it in and see what happens. Hang on, wait. Does it work? It literally tripped it immediately? Are you f***ing serious? It literally instantly tripped the breaker. Hang on a second. Are you real, man? Wait, where is it the GFCI? Is this hair dryer broken? Oh. There's- continuity is broken somewhere. What the f I think a wire came out. Hang on a second. Unplug! Unplug! Oh! It's literally the first- it's where I pulled the outlet out. Alright. Now, let's try it again. Alright. Now, we're running. What's that? Oh, it's this guy! It's the little air pump guy. All the rice cookers are on? Put some rice in there? Nah, it'll be fine. This is an amazing, uh... An amazing display of... <laughs> excess. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, hang on. Air dryer. We get the angle grinder. Wait, you know what we need? Hang on, I know what we need. Let's get the microwave on this. There we go. Alright, hang on. Microwave going to... Hang on, we also need a hot plate. Hang on, hang on. Hot plate? Here we go. Yeah, there, there we go. You're deranged. I'm not deranged. Uh, oh shit. It needs a, uh, it needs an inductive can. Alright, watch the fire. Oh. Alright, hang on. Well, uh, apparently that was enough. <laughs> well, we found the limit. It was bound to happen. <laughs> Why is something smells like it's fing burning, dude? Wow, that was like. That was two circuits, too. Excellent. Excellent work. <laughs> the hot plate is an inspired choice. Here. There we go. The power user. The hot plate uses a lot of power. This is a pretty, like, comprehensive test, I feel like. All things considered. Yeah, let's plug something else in. I feel like we can get more... We can probably get more album here. Probably get more album. You know what? On second thought, also something really, like, there's a smell of burning plastic in the air. 
There is a, uh, I, that is distinctly burning plastic. You know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe this was good, good enough testing. <laughs> I don't know if I want to start a house fire. It's a pretty great, dude, we did pretty good here, man. This is a pretty great little creation. House fire would go viral. Dog, I don't want to start a house fire, fire to go viral. That's not the heat I'm trying to cook, literally. That's not the heat. <laughs> Say this was a successful stream. Yeah, it didn't catch on fire. It could have. It was poised to. It was literally like <laughs> one of the most. It, it was right there for the flaming. I even used the a bigger breaker to pump more current than should be drawn through these wires. We gotta bring this shit out back uh, around Christmas time to light the the fuck out of this basement with lights.